Hey everyone, welcome back to Widget Wisdom. Today we are diving deep into one of the most exciting topics for mobile app developers working with images in Flutter. We will cover how to pick images from the gallery, capture them with the camera, whether you are building a social media app or an e-commerce platform or even a photo editing app. This video is going to give you all the tools you need to handle images with ease. By the end of this video, you will have a strong understanding of integrating the camera using image pickers and uploading image to the server. So let's get started. So before we dive into the coding, let's quickly cover what an image picker is. In simple term, it's a tool or plugin that allows you to select images or videos from your device's gallery or capture them using the camera. In Flutter, we will use a popular package called image picker that provides this functionality. So let's understand the working of it. Uh, let's imagine you are building an app like Instagram and users need to upload photos. They would either pick a photo from their phone gallery or take a new one with their camera. The image picker package helps you access these media files and handle them in your app. So for that, uh, open your IDE, then come to the pubspec.yaml file and here add this image picker dependency. All right. Now that we have the image picker package installed, let's get started with picking images from the gallery. Like in many applications, users want to upload a profile picture or select an image for their post from the phone's gallery. The image picker package gives us an easy way to do this. So for that, open your main.dart file and here, uh, let's create a stateful widget as image picker demo. Okay, then come inside this state class and here create a new variable as file and please make it as nullable and then name this variable as image. So this nullable file variable holds the reference to the image file selected from the gallery. Okay, then uh, let's create a new method as pick image from gallery and this method is going to be of type future. So here add the future and this is a future method. So here we need to mark this method as async. So here mark this function as async. Then inside this function here create a new final variable as picked file. So we use this variable for checking that what file is picked. Okay. Then here add await. Then here add the image picker class. So this class is directly coming from that image picker package. And then here add the pick image method. So this is part of the image picker package which opens the gallery and lets the user select an image. Then inside this here add the source. So we want that user can pick the images from the gallery. So here add image source, then dot gallery. So this argument specifies that the image is selected from the gallery. So now in this picked file variable, we have a result of the image picker, which contains the image files metadata like file path. Then let's build the UI for this. So come inside the build method and from here return the scaffold widget. Then here add the app bar and for app bar add the title as image picker example. Then for body here add a center widget. Then for its child here add a check that if image is equals to null. Then we are going to show a text widget which will say no image selected. And if image is not equal to null then we need to show this image inside our UI. So for that here add the image widget and then here add the file and then add this image variable which we have created. So this image.file widget will help to render the images from the storage. Okay, then come outside this body and here add the floating action button and then add a floating action button widget. Okay, then for its on pressed method, uh, call this our pick image from gallery method and for its child, here add the icon button and for its icon, add the photo gallery icon. Now, our this pick image from gallery method is not completed. So come inside this method and here first add the set state. Now we need to assign the path of the picked file to this image variable. So for that here add the image, then add the file and then picked file dot path and make sure to mark it as null because there could be a case that the user opened the gallery but he didn't pick the image. In that case we don't want our app to break. So please here add the null checker. Okay, now this part is completed. Now let's save the code and run the application. And I have saved the program, but here I can't see anything. So let me check what's the issue. Okay, so here we need to call our this image picker demo class from the my app. So please call that. Now save the code and run the application. Then let's step onto this 
floating action button to pick the image and uh, here if i'm tapping onto this then there is an error coming inside the console so let's do one thing uh, actually we have imported a package and we need to stop the app and run the application again to check if it is working properly or not so for that stop the application and run the app again and uh, now app is reinstalled now again tap on to this button and now you can see our image gallery is opened and let me select uh, this image from here and i'm running this app on the emulator so i can't show you the actual gallery of my mobile so here i have selected this image and that image is showing on the home screen uh, so this is it how you can pick the image from the gallery now let's see how we can pick the image or how we can click the image from the camera so for that come above here and here let's create a new method and uh, let's name this method as capture image from camera okay and again this method is going to be of type future so add that and then mark this function as async then come inside this function and here it's very simple to click the images from the camera so again here click create a new variable as a picked file then here add the await then again call this image picker and then pick image now here we just need to change the source so here just add the source as image source dot camera so this source will open the camera okay like in the previous example we have seen that we have used the same method we just change the source from image to uh, gallery to camera so this is how you can open the camera now let's uh, assign the picked file to our image variable so for that here add the set state then add the image then file then picked file dot path the whole codes working is same we just need to change the source and that we have added now let's save the code and and done before saving the code uh, come inside this floating action button and wrap this floating action button inside a row widget and then add the main axis alignment at center then uh, after this floating action button as a sized box of width 10 and then copy this above floating action button and add it one more time this time change the method to capture image from camera and change the icon to camera icon now if you save the code and run the application then you can see uh, we have two button and now when i'm pressing on to the camera button then camera is open and uh, if you are using emulator then you can uh, change the camera by using option button in mac or alt button in windows now you can see i can rotate the camera and now if i click on this picture and tap this ok button then you can see that clicked image is shown on the home page so this is how you can open the camera app and click the pictures in flutter now let's see how we can compress the image so for that come inside the pubspec.yaml file and here add this flutter image compressor dependency okay now tap on the puppet option to get all the dependencies then come inside the main.dart file and here create a new method as compress image and then the return type is going to be future of file so here add that and this method will going to accept of image so here add the file image then add the async then come inside this function and here create a new variable as compress image okay then here add the await then here call the flutter image compress class that is coming from that package so here add that and then call the method as compress and get file so this method will be used to compress and specific image which we will give to this method and then it will store that image in a new path okay so for that here need the source file path so for that here add the path as image and then absolute path so this will give the absolute path of the selected image so up until now we have added the path from where the image is coming now we need to save this image and we need to add a new path so for that here add the image path and we are compressing this image so let's name it as compressor.jpg so this will create a new file okay now uh, change the return type to file from the x file because this is giving the x file of return type so this is how you can compress an image in flutter so that's it for today's video we covered a lot of ground we learned how to pick images from the gallery capture images with the camera or how to compress an image to optimize the performance so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to widget wisdom for more amazing flutter content 
एंड प्लीज ड्रॉप अ कॉमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और टॉपिक यू वुड लाइक टू अस कवर इन द फ्यूचर सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो